Family, family, family. So the majority of podcasters don't make any money. Okay, I, I, they, they don't make money. So today, what we're going to talk about, I'm going to reveal to you uh, five ways of how a podcaster can become a paid speaker. So how you can get paid to use your voice instead of sitting behind the mic and not getting any bread. We're going to get into it in this episode of Your Podcast Mentor Show. Welcome to the Your Podcast Mentor Show. What's going on, family? So welcome to the Your Podcast Mentor Show, and I am your host, Jonathan Jones. And on this show, it's geared towards helping speakers, coaches, consultants, and small business owners, ultimately entrepreneurs, right? Helping them to elevate their authority and seeing how they can leverage a podcast to further their business, to further their bottom line, right? So that's what we're here. That's what we're all about. And today, I was just thinking, because I did an interview uh, with a gentleman the other day, very nice gentleman, and the topic I covered was how a podcaster can become a paid speaker. So I said, if I'm going to share that with him, why would I not share that with the family right here, right? Why would I not give y'all that game? So um, we're going to go ahead and dive in. And the first thing I want to do is I want to rewind this back because it was 2016. And I was just wrapping up a speaking engagement because I speak. I, I partner with colleges and corporations and churches. And I go out and I speak, right? And I get paid. However... After this particular engagement, I was trying to figure out, well, how can I how can I get more speaking opportunities? Right? How can I get more engagements to where I can go out more places, I can speak more often? And I was talking to my videographer, uh, Reginald Titus, who's now uh the creative director and my business partner. And what we began to talk about was um starting a podcast. Reginald's like, Well, John, you should start a podcast. Cause we've all heard Gary V or Maybe you haven't heard Gary Vee, but this is around the time where he was saying, start a podcast, start a podcast, document versus create. And during that time, I was like, uh, I guess that might be something that I should consider, right? Because I went the opposite way. And what I'm going to tell you, I was speaking already and then I started the podcast after. But what I'm telling you is get the podcast going and then let's start speaking. Okay, but anyway, so the, the first reason why you should consider speaking if you're a podcaster, right? The first reason is this. You're already an expert in your area of genius. You're already an expert in the field that you, you've been in. You've had the podcast. You've been talking about certain topics over and over and over, week after week, after month, after year. So you already have begun to stack your authority there, right? Like, why would you not? You're an expert in that area. That's the first reason. You're an expert. So that should be the first check to let you know, oh, I should go out and and consider doing something with with what I know versus just doing it on my podcast and waiting for a sponsor or versus doing it on my podcast and hoping that somebody gives me an affiliate link. Y'all, we got to say affiliate links are cool, right? To get your $15, your $30, your $10, your 10%, everything. Affiliate links are cool. But would you rather getting $15 for somebody signing up for something? Or would you rather get 1500 to go out and speak somewhere? I'll, I'll let you think about that. Yeah, so the, the, the next reason is this. The next reason is this. If you have a podcast and it's positioned well, right? So you're, 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 you're 10 toes down in entrepreneurship. Your podcast is about entrepreneurship. You give how-tos, you give business advice, you give tools on entrepreneurship. Somebody sees you 
as a higher level of expert all because of how you're positioned what you cover every week you show up with new content so you're stacked on the credibility piece and i'll rephrase it your position to get paid yeah just like when we walk into a mall okay and let's say we go to the shoe store i used to work at finish line shout out to finish line shout out to foot Locker. i used to work at both you ask somebody do they want to buy the shoe cleaner they always say no no i don't but if they're sitting down and then you spray the shoe cleaner and either do a demo or you spray it and then clean a little bit of their shoes you're positioned for them to buy the cleaner from you now because nobody wants to walk around with one clean shoe and one dirty shoe right so the same thing applies for you right here in this space and in this opportunity if you're positioned with the strong podcast title strong content people see you with a higher level of credibility let's keep this thing going man let's keep this thing moving let's keep this thing no, number three number three number three is speaking is an additional income stream yeah yeah okay so look i'm gonna i'm gonna share my screen for those of you who are watching on youtube and this is first i want to show this I, I i couldn't find the average on the average amount of money that a podcaster makes however i'm going to show you this you see this right here it says if we zoom in a little bit and we scroll up yep it says typically a podcaster with around 10,000 downloads per episode can expect to earn somewhere between 500 to 900 dollars right very successful podcasts can earn more reaching up to 30 million in annual income 30 million they're talking about joe rogan the reason why i want to show you this is the majority of podcasts are not getting 10,000 downloads per episode the majority are not getting that many downloads per episode so if the majority aren't getting that then the majority aren't making 500 to 900 dollars and they're talking about that based on like an ad slot or uh cost per uh what what is it per me melee right that means per thousand so if somebody put an ad on your show then you can be making like around this based on the cpm model which is cost per melee melee stands for thousand or if you do like an affiliate type relationship or agreement right however what i wanted to show you is like we're talking about this being an added income stream by you speaking you say john i'm a novice speaker john i don't know what to talk about john i've never even been paid to speak at a conference at an event how do i even know how much to start charging shout out to google okay shout out to google because my first time when i first started speaking the first check i ever made was for 25 dollars and i was volunteering and i was so happy to see that 25 dollars but you are going to make more than 25 dollars the first time you speak and get paid for it because i gave you this insight and look right here i googled it i google how much can a novice speaker charge right here here are some baseline ranges according to level of experience fewer than three talks so that's zero to three fewer than three talks you can charge 500 to 2500 per talk can we just end the episode right there or do y'all want me to keep going okay i'll keep going so you have that opportunity then it says three to eight talks you're a proven expert first time author 
you can charge somewhere between five thousand to ten thousand per talk what i want to break down is this it says proven expert how can you show you're a proven expert you show you're a proven expert by way of you doing the daily practice and the daily work in the field that you have chosen right so there are people who began being salesmen and women and they got really good at it and they trained through it and they learned and they made a lot of calls and they went in day after day month after month week after week year after year and now they have a couple of years experience or maybe they've just done like 10,000 12,000 calls so now they can show and share what processes and strategies they've used to help them become successful in this arena did they go to school for this probably not but they've learned and they've done their due diligence to become an expert man let's keep going i'm getting excited if this is benefiting you at all and you're watching on youtube drop something down in the comments if this is benefiting you at all and you're listening on apple spotify wherever I just encourage you just to write a helpful review to help somebody else out okay and then look right here then it says eight to twelve talks or you're a micro influencer five thousand to a hundred thousand followers or you've written multiple books your range is ten to twenty thousand per talk one more time for my people in the back 10 to 20 thousand per talk if i was to ask you today if i was to ask you today but john i've i if well i would be the one asking if i was to ask you could you benefit from an extra and I, i'll go mid-range right so we said fewer than three talks was 500 2500 i'll ask you this if I just gave you $1,500 today, could you put that to good use in your house? Extra $1,500, right? An extra rack and $500. Could you do something with that? I don't even need to hear your answer because I know the answer is yes. Okay, so uh, I wanted you to see that because like I said before, for reason number three, this will add on an additional income stream. You got bills? Yeah, I know you do. So what are we gonna do about them? Let's let let let's let's get active. Okay. Let, let's get active and put our expertise to use. Reason number four. Reason number four. Um you are somebody's point of reference. Yeah, yeah. So you you're somebody's point of reference for maybe it's news. Maybe it's entrepreneurship. Maybe it's cooking. Maybe it's videography. Maybe it's editing, books, videos. They listen to you. And if you open your analytics and you see that there's one person listening to you, and up from there, if you see you get one download, two downloads, five downloads, then that right there should let you know that somebody wants to listen to you somebody wants to learn from you l squared somebody wants to listen and somebody wants to learn from you so let that be all the encouragement that you need today family you don't have to have a hundred thousand listeners on your on your podcast you can but you don't have to and if you don't have that then how else can we go about monetizing our podcast holistically we can go speak and if you're somebody who's interested in speaking and you want to know more, you're like, John, I got the podcast, been doing the podcast, or I haven't even started yet, but I want to be in the position to where I can monetize my message. We have a free training coming up. I'm going to have the link down below, but it's www.getpaidwithpodcasting.com forward slash webinar. And I'm going to break down not only how you can start a podcast, but ultimately how you can create a consistent customer base by way of that podcast. 
All right. So uh, be sure to sign up for the training and I hope to see you there. Yeah. www.getpaperpodcasting.com forward slash webinar. All right. And reason number five, y'all reason number five that a podcaster should become a paid speaker is this. If you're a podcaster, you started your podcast or hopefully you did with a mission, with a purpose, with the goal. Why did you start the podcast? Who did you want to impact? You wanted to impact a thousand families to be able to learn an additional skill set outside of traditional education, right? You started a podcast so you can help a thousand families be able to purchase their first home, right? You started a podcast because you wanted to help 10,000 families pay down their debt so that they can live a life debt-free and move forward and progress in that way. So knowing and understanding that you started a podcast with the goal with the mission and a driving force that's greater than you, right? A goal that's bigger than you, bigger than you just making money, bigger than your family just being good, but other people's families benefiting from this as well. Number five is on stage, by way of you speaking, it allows you to further that message. So now you can share with people who are in the audience your podcast content. You can let them know what your mission is and the benefit about sharing your mission with other people, with like-minded people, is now they want to join forces with you. Now they want to help you. They're like, oh, wow, how many families have you helped so far? You've helped a thousand families? Wow, well, we want to join in on that. We, we want to help you. Help 10,000. How can we help you? What can we do to help you move the needle forward? And when we began to join forces with other people, now they set us up to where they can pass on our information and they become soldiers moving forward and pressing our mission forward as if it's their own. And the benefit of this is it's like ripples in a pond. You throw a rock and it starts to ripple and it goes small and it ripples all the way out till it gets to the edge of the pond. So what am I saying? I'm saying that if you're a podcaster and you are not considering paid speaking opportunities, you're doing yourself a severe disservice, a severe disservice. Why are you doing a severe disservice? All because of not generating revenue by way of doing something that you've already been doing on the mic, speaking on the mic every episode. You're shortchanging your opportunity for impact, your opportunity for influence, and especially your opportunity for income. Family, it's your podcast mentor, Jonathan Jones. And just like I said before, if you are a speaker, coach, or small business owner, and you're saying, well, I want to get in that spot. I want to be able to generate paid speaking opportunities and monetize my podcast that way. Be sure to go to www.getpaidwithpodcasting.com forward slash webinar. And I'm going to see you in the training. Family, it's your podcast mentor, Jonathan Jones. Until next time, peace and God bless. <laughs>